So I actually just did a video on this site um, for this frosted up one over here. Uh, th that one over there was just a defrost uh, sensor, condenser coil sensor that was not working anymore. Um, getting over here to the next unit, uh, another York uh, package unit, it's a heat pump and it, you can kind of see there it's starting to scroll through. I don't know if you can read it through here, but it says, uh, I'm gonna wait for it to start over. Yeah, number one, economizer. Hold on real quick, it's gonna re-scroll the fault, but it's saying that it's a economizer communication error. Um, yeah, so here we go. Economizer, yeah, communication error is what it's saying. Um, so with that fault code, clearly I kind of directed me over to the economizer, um, which is where your filters are uh, for the most part. So your filters are in here. Um, and right off the get go, a couple things you want to look for. Um, Especially out in my climate, I mean, it's raining all the time. You're out here doing a filter change or something like that, or anyone's out here doing a filter change. Opening up this door, if it's just torrential downpour, I mean, it, it might get a little wet. Unfortunately, this thing is like right, right on the edge of the unit. So, I mean, if it is windy or rainy, it's gonna get some water on it. Another thing that happens sometimes if someone comes out here and the unit's running and the fan's blowing, it's sucking in air right here and you got a bunch of standing water on top of the unit, it'll just roll right off the edge and right into the unit. Um, so I can actually see a little bit of kind of that discoloration from water um, on these pegs right here. Um, but what I think actually happened is this wire right here got disconnected from uh, my economizer. Um, and that's actually what is going on. Actually, it looks like a few of my wires got disconnected. Um, and that's why it's not, not communicating on this particular one is, is that. Uh, another thing that tech support kind of always says to do is, is to pull this off. Uh, when I have talked to him about economizers or stuff in the past, pull this off and just kind of look for any just discolor, uh, discoloration from water and stuff like that. Like I said, it is a common issue out here in the Pacific Northwest with how much rain and moisture we have all the time uh, that these can get damaged. Um, but for me, it looks like some of these wires got disconnected. I don't know if another tech rope disconnected this because they're running into something or, or what, but I'm gonna get these wires hooked back up uh, on this particular system and that should hopefully get that error code to go away. Um, yeah, let's see here. It actually looks like just hooking up that one wire got that fault to go away. So I think it just wasn't communicating because some of these wires are disconnected is what it's looking like. So I'm gonna get the wires hooked back up, make sure nothing's going on on this particular system. But uh, like I said, that's, that's one reason why I always try to leave notes, I mean, in these systems because you just never know if you'll be the tech coming back at least at our company anyone can go back we don't have like set accounts where we're the same people every time so I, I always try to leave a note in my my systems if anything i mean that one over there with the condensing coil sensor i just put a note in that system stating what i found because obviously if nothing happens with that as far as a repair and um someone comes back here or if no one even addresses it all winter long and it gets into to cooling season i mean you're not even going to think about the condenser coil sensor um, at that point so um i just try to leave notes in these things all the time i mean this could have been something that happened two two three years ago or something even and uh it got disconnected maybe on fire off maybe this economizer was acting up and someone disconnected it wrote it up and nothing ever came of it so i'll dig into it a little bit further but right now just seeing that that fault code already went away on the board I'm guessing that it just wasn't communicating because, I mean, clearly there's not a single wire that was plugged into this board. Um, so I'm gonna get some of the stuff hooked back up. Uh, it could have just been disconnected by accident. Who knows what happened here? So I'll go ahead and get this hooked back up. But uh, yeah, that was basically my next unit I go into, I instantly had another fault code. So um, just addressing it. This one looks a lot simpler. Just 
disconnected wires. So get this going, make sure the economizer's working like it's supposed to and, and call it good. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. All right, thanks.